Hello, 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 welcome. I have not downloaded the new update file. Um, sorry for being late. I was trying to download it and nothing was really happening. Um, so I had to restart my PlayStation so that it would actually download. Um, but we've returning to Final Fantasy XIV. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. All right, 19 minutes, 19 minutes. Oh my gosh. Is it really gonna take that long? How long is this update? What do they even do to this update? Let's see. Is there a patch? Uh, FF, FFXIV Lodestone. Um. Nothing that I can see. It would say that 25 minutes? Really? Oh no. I didn't, like, I expect this with large patches, but not a whole, just an event. I don't expect so much. Have I, when was the last, what is going on? When was the last time I played? Has it been that long? What was the last patch notes? Uh Yeah, I don't know. Was there a maintenance? I don't know what's going on. This is really a bummer. <laughs> um, but perhaps I shall Let's read the lodestone while we wait. I should have just postponed the, the live stream, but we're live now, so I guess we'll be here for 35 minutes. If it really is gonna take that long. Maybe, hold on. Let's see something really quick. Um. All right, just close Elgata. Perhaps my internet network. Oh, okay. It's go it's Wi-Fi right now. That's why. There. That should speed things up. Let's see how it how it is now. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> what a big difference. It immediately it finished. It immediately finished. Wow. Yo, that's the difference between wired and not wired up. Wired up. Uh, let's see. Hi, Kai Vera on Twitch. How are you? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Whew. Okay. Look where we are. <laughs> I didn't expect there to be like a, a large f update. Um, because I just didn't check because it wasn't a, a large patch. So I just didn't expect there to be big, big update. Um, so I guess I can just go over here. Let's open this up. Let's improvise. Let's look at the lodestone and see what's going on. And I can let y'all know the news before. Uh, I'll t also for those watching, I'll timestamp for those just watching for the uh, 16 reaction. If you're going back and seeing this VOD or whatever, uh, just leap forward to the timestamp. But we're gonna go through the news right now, um, and we can talk about what's happening 
in the Final Fantasy XIV universe right now, even though this is not, none of this is breaking news. This is all pretty old news, but let's just give a little breakdown of what's coming uh, in the future for for the game. Uh, Kayo says, I'm fine. Glad to see you playing 14 again live. Yes, we're back. We're back. Uh, I'll probably only be playing this alive, uh, you know, until Dawn Trail. I don't have any other, but maybe the 16 DLC, maybe that's coming very soon. Uh, but that'd be like a one day thing, I would think. But that's like the only thing that I can think of that I would stream that it's not 14 leading up into Dawn Trail. Um, so what we have right now, we've got... Uh, I mean, I don't even see anything about a oh, all worlds maintenance April first. Oh, that's what I didn't. Okay, so I haven't. That's what happened. There was an all worlds maintenance. What was this about? Uh, the maintenance. Oh, we apologize for what is this about though? Was this about some sort of data center or something? Uh, following issues have been addressed. An issue during. A cutscene in the main scenario quest, stars in the dark were in uh, someone's animation didn't dis display correctly. Did they just fix some random things? Oh, there was some data center. So the arrangement of retainer reverts. Can you all even see this? You can. Uh, the arrangement of retainers reverts to the default order when you visit another physical data center separate from your home world and then return back to your home world. Okay, yeah, I remember hearing about this being an issue. And then multiple characters from your same service account may be able to log in at the same time under certain conditions. Oh, wow, wait, that's kind of huge. Multiple characters from the same service account may be able to log in at the same time under certain conditions. I wonder what th those certain conditions are. Because that's interesting. It makes me want to like, I can like trade my character things. <laughs> but how? How do I even do that? How many, how have I, do I have to be on like two different com like computers? Uh, the character does not appear correctly when using a mount action egg surprise. Uh, and this is just some regular fixes here, but yeah, there's some big data center fixes, but I guess that just took a while for them. I, I, I didn't expect it to be such a big patch. How are you doing, Kaya, by the way? What, what have you worked on since we last spoke in 14? I know you did a lot of like blue mage. You just finished, you got caught up to the game. You're ready for Dawn trail. You're maybe working on relic possibly. I think I heard. Uh, Vega, welcome in on YouTube. Vega says, I didn't realize how long it had been since I played 14 until I logged in to the 16 event and realized my house was... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't do my gasp effect. That is a gasp sound, though. That is really devastating. I'm very sorry. Nothing can... That is... Yeah, that must be very devastating. I'm so sorry. Uh, Vegas says it's okay, easy come, easy go. Yeah, they are easier to get, it, especially if you go, if you're like if you're playing the game really for a house, because there's a lot of people that do that for 14. I always suggest them go to Dynamis um, if they're on NA. Now, if you're elsewhere, I don't know, uh, but NA players can go on Dynamis and get a house with pretty much no competition at all. That's how I. There was a large that I have over there that uh was uncontested for two months and i just easily picked it up it was it was wild uh vegas says i just didn't realize i hadn't played in so long yeah that time flies i i haven't realized because i've been playing seven rebirth i just finished it Ooh, there's still a bunch of stuff on the side that i haven't done um but i probably won't go back to that for a while but um i did finish it so that's exciting um <clears throat> and but that's been at least a month, right? Yeah, it's been about a month of playing that game. I haven't really, I played a little bit of 14 here and there, but I haven't really played, played, or there hasn't been anything really new for me to get into besides what we're going to do now once uh, my the game stops copying. It's at 44% right now. Or it's copying the update file. 
I just forgot. I forgot they did all worlds maintenance, so I did not prepare. All right, so we have, all right, so we, what's going on in the game right now? Uh, so we got a letter from the producer. We got an overview of Inwalker happening April 12th, 2024 at 9 p.m. at Pacific time. This is gonna be uh, midnight my time. Uh, so this will be going over, uh, they'll be looking at patch 7.0. They'll be looking at the Dawn Trail stuff. Uh, and they'll be, have, have a segment, a Realm Resplendent with the Warriors of Light in which they showcase some fun 14 statistics. That's interesting. I'll be live to at least just look at the patch 7.0 stuff and then I'll, that's all I'll live stream uh, just to listen to them talk about it. But I'll be live at midnight uh, for a short period. Um, and then we have the 14 Xbox sweepstake. This is really cool. They have like a an Aetherite Xbox. Does that actually look like that? Is it like on an aetherite crystal stand that's kind of incredible uh vega on youtube says i'm glad i'm glad i randomly checked the 14 sub though i would have been sad to miss the yeah the 16 event yeah it's it's lasting for a month it'll be gone sometime in may i think first part of may i don't remember which date though so yeah their new xbox event that's pretty cool they finally officially re released kind of xbox is now out of beta i believe and now it's fully people are fully playing now akaya uh, says well akaya uh, on twitch says well i finished the manderville and upgraded my manderville uh rapier once i'm clearing all the paths of allo 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 with some friends i'm working on blue weekly logs Ooh, i haven't done any of i've done i think there's a path of allo allo i haven't even walked down Um, and then we have a spring sale, 60% off with the, you know, they're, they're advertising the new free trial too, which is so cool. Uh, growing light, Final Fantasy 14, growing light, original sound. So we got the soundtrack. Very neat. Hold on. I got a weird text message. Oh, I, I've been getting like Snapchat text messages. I, I guess I signed up for that. I'm like, it, it gives me like notifications for all kinds of stuff. I need to get rid of that. Uh, then we have the 16 event. Uh, this will be, oh, it'll end May 8th. So be sure to finish the 16 event May 8th. Get you all your stuff, especially if you're doing it on alts. If you want all this stuff on your alt, May 8th is your final day to do the 16 event. I think this is not official it might be official but i think the next moogle tome event will happen after this event so i think they'll start a new one um, because there's like another tab on your mogpedia uh, so i think that's going to happen after this event i heard that but i'm not sure if that's if, i'm not sure how true that is because i haven't actually read that anywhere i just heard it from somebody um all right and then don trail pre-order info uh, pre you can pre-order March 26th. That's we're past that date, so uh, be sure to pre-order if you want your Zidane or the earrings. I believe the earrings are like the EXP bonus earrings. I'm guessing they're EXP bonus up to 90, right? Up to 90. Yep. Uh, which grants you increased EXP gained by defeating enemies when worn to level 90. Oh, by defeating enemies. So it's not just, it's just defeating enemies. So, ooh. hmm. So I wonder if I'm doing dungeons will give me it. I don't, but yeah, the dungeon enemies are what give you the most EXP or not the, the bosses do. So I'm guessing that that'll give you extra EXP for defeating dungeon bosses. I hope that's true. Um, and then we have the Dawn Trail release date. We all know about that. I mean, I streamed all of this stuff. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't stream the PAX announcement. Um, but I was live during it, but just not streaming it. 
um july 2nd and then the uh we have uh just like june 28th for early access i will be doing early access for sure um pre and then pre i have not pre-ordered yet though but i soon will because i want my stuff uh, we are excited to announce the launch of xbox series xs version final fantasy 14 to help players get started we have prepared instructions on how to play the xbox series xx version blah 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 okay crystalline conflict season 11. now we're kind of in old stuff now though but i'm at 81 percent, so i don't know what else to talk about because i was expecting to just jump in and play the 16 event but i'm silly and forgot there was a thing but i'm excited about this uh so this live stream will be on youtube and twitch I assume that they might be. Uh, please note that this presentation slides will only be in Japanese. Uh, include slides will include both Japanese and English text, but the presentation audio will be Japanese only. So there won't be any translators for this uh, live stream. So you, I will bring up whenever I live stream this uh, letter from the producer. I will uh, be translating it. Well, I'm going to be reading off translations from the translation Discord. That is like the, I think it's the Reddit Discord. In the Final Fantasy 14 Reddit Discord, there's people that live translate there. So I'll just be reading that and relaying what is being said uh, from the live stream. So you all know what's going on and you don't have to follow. You can just listen in and I can uh, let you know what's going on. So I, I typically do that for these live streams. Alrighty, so that's what's going on. Come in going on going forward not a, too much but there is some stuff to look forward to especially this letter from the producer live i forgot that they were even going to do that of course we also stuff that they haven't uh, stuff that we know that will probably happen like they'll have the uh job video um where they show all the jobs and the uh you know they have a video where they show all of that uh before dawn trail uh, kind of all the actions and stuff we'll see that and that'll be really exciting and then there'll be the final trailer which i don't know if i'm even gonna watch because the, it's always a bit it always shows a bit too much that i don't want to see so I, part of me wants to skip it but i always end up watching it no matter what because i'm just too excited and i want it's like something i can't look away from it's like i gotta i kind of peek, peek through the doors and see uh what's going on and i i always end up watching it and it never really, it never ruins the experience, but I'm always, after playing through an expansion, I'm always like, mm, I wish I never watched that final trailer. Like the release trailer, I think. It's not a super CGI trailer. It just shows images from the game and it ends up being uh, a lot. All right. We're almost there. Come on, 98%. Come on, come on. <laughs> I wanna play. This wasn't my plan to talk about 14 news, but I am excited for the letter from the producer. We haven't had one of those in a while. And if one, it feels like we had just had one. Uh, we're there, we can play. Oh my God. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I need to log in. So we're going to sit in silence. Sitting in silence. You can see my PlayStation right here. My beautiful PS5. Please wait while the launcher loads. What in the world is going on? Oh, <laughs> it is so messed up. Oh no, did it break? What is going on? Maybe the server is busy because it did take that much. It did take that much for me. No, like it. Uh, let me see. Let me just close the game real quick and reopen it because it was acting. It looked really weird. I couldn't even press. I couldn't even press like log in. Let's see if it shows up correctly this time. 
Oh, you like the rainbow? Yes, it's kind of crooked, um, but I didn't want to fix it. Oh, it fixed, it fixed itself now. Are the my login stuff fixed? Now I can actually click log in. That's just never happened before. There we go. Oh, wow. Yes, claps. That's good. <laughs> Woo! Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. So loud. I have it. I have it at my um, seven rebirth volume. All right. We can play. We're playing 14. Oh my god. We're here. We're back. I am going to set up some streams where we go and visit really cool housing venues, and I have a lot of plans. Uh, I just needed to get through the 7 Rebirth game. Um, and again, thank you so much Square Enix for allowing me to play that um, the free for free. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, but that was very fun. My full playthrough is on YouTube now. Um, there's like almost 20 parts. I forgot. I think it's, there's 17 parts to it. The 17 part video. Um, so if you want to watch my reaction to that, it is out there. It is, it is there. And I loved it. It was so good. It was a great game. <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, Vega says, I loved your free birth stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm just happy to be back. I'm happy to be back to what I normally do. Um, but yeah, we'll be visiting some cool venues, some cool uh, events, uh, community run events. That's something that I cover a lot of here. Um, I have already some things planned. There's some theatrical shows. Some people are putting on Hairspray, the musical in 14. With apparently live voices. So there might be live singing. There's also a Hairspray movie. So maybe it's that one. But, um, but yeah, I think there's a Hairspray musical happening this month at the end of this month um and then there's also there's all kinds of like theater happening in 14 which is very cool um so there's that what else is there but there's always cool houses and i always like taking taking all to see cool housing creations particularly on the jp data center i always find some like the most bizarre things over there that are also just so creative and cool all right every time i'm just Find myself here, I have to do this. Uh, oh, what a horrible. What a horrible card. Um, Kai says, I love your glam so much. Your bunny boy looks beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting really unlucky. I, I typically at least get one of the 1,000 plus things. All right, let's go to the goblet. How's my inventory? It's fine. Looks better than it normally does. Off we go. Vegas says, Tales of Lost and Far. I'm really ready for the Dawn Trail stuff, though. Oh, let me also let me fix my camera. So we're back to uh, we're back to the 14 size. There we go. <clears throat> As I have myself moved up there for seven rebirth. Now we're back down here. La 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 la. I believe the quest givers like down here. Oh, there they are. Where the horde of people are. <laughs> Kayo on Twitch says, "Oh, my retainers have bought me jet black dyes." Oh wow. Yeah, you are rich. You're like three hundred thousand gil rich. A land of fire. Let's go. Look at the. <laughs> it's Yoshi P. But forgive me, my boldness, but you are Riki Mistwarden, are you not? I am. So then my search is at an end. Uh, 
goggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes to entertain your aid with some matter of, of deigned not shared with me. Pray remain here and I shall fetch him at once. I have seen one thing from this. And that's all. I've seen one thing in that there's cursing and I think that's funny. <laughs> But they curse in my Final Fantasy XIV game. Greetings, champion. Tis I who employed you, the young adventurer to facilitate the impromptu audience. The producer of both 16 and 14. As for the why, I've requested that you and you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with the most, most unsettling dream. In it did I behold the evening sky. I'm yawning. Why am I yawning? A boundless and shimmering as I drank deep of its beauty. I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of the purest white and the other blushing scarlet. Their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star. Their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light, even in a slumber. I was awestruck by their spectacle. But what does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? What does that mean? Truth be told, my own interpretation wavers. My r rational mind says meaningless dream. I forgot to say I was live on my Discord. What's my artist still insist on prophecy? Whatever greater meaning the vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light, in other words, you. And should these port portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the scarlet star, whomsoever they may be. Who is there? Oh my god, account for the wind, thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. Welcome in. Welcome to the Final Fantasy 16 events. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome in those on the raid. Spoilers, if you haven't done 16 event and 14, close your eyes. Uh, da, da, da. Do a quick shout over here. Let me know what you're up to. Cat for the win. Were you also doing the 16 event? And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whoever they sh may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from, from my dream that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. Come on, your sheepy. I just want to see Clive. I just want to go and fight the things. The question is which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise. The bulls of embers where you had battled Ifrit, the burning wall in eastern Thanalan, a place rich in corrupted crystals deposits, they can look quite fiery. The bull of embers. Let's try that. Oh, sorrows of Whirlit? Oh, did, did you do all of it? Or just part of it? While its relation to flame cannot be denied, mine instincts tell me nay. The scene from the dream was more rigid than a ball of giant flickering. Okay, you got it. The, burning, uh, the crystals. That's what I my gut was at, because it makes sense for 16. These crystals would have been immense in size, akin to the, those which com compromise the burning wall. Aye, this sight well, resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave the eastern Thanalan and the infamous burning wall. Clive's going to have, like, flashbacks. Like, Doom flashbacks. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. I love the special quest accepted things for all the crossovers. Uh oh, you just finished? Oh my god. That's one of my favorite quests. It's so good. I didn't actually like that one till the end. And I did it as it came out, and I was like, I'm not that excited for this one. And then the last one came out and I was like, wow. Okay. Now I now this is one of my favorite quest lines. In the game. It's always the last quest of these Final Fantasy XIV quests. 
it's always like oh, okay and then you get the last question you're like oh wow okay <laughs> like oh, okay this is good now i'm crying now i'm upset and now everything else just pfft, doesn't matter anymore and you did the event yesterday i was going to do it yesterday but i had to i had to go somewhere i could not play could not play in a decent time I had to like go somewhere after work and then I had to get up early for work. So I was like, not in my favor, but I wanted to. <laughs> yes, the end make, yeah, the end is just like, ugh. there's like one scene in particular where you're just like, I was like, what, what is this? I didn't expect this to happen to me in my motions. Uh, where do we need to go? Over here. Oh yeah, I don't want to have to rush it. Yeah. By the way, y'all, go follow Cat for the Win if you're not. I put a little shout out in the chat. Also plays for another 14th streamer. Uh, I just met... Uh, Kaya says, I just met Zero on my quest. I kind of don't... <laughs> I kind of don't like her. But I can foresee a redeeming arc like Kaya. <laughs> I just like how you're like, really, you're honest about it, Kaya. You're like, I don't like her. Oh, so you haven't actually caught up to the... Uh, okay, so you're, you finished Inwalker Kayo, but now you're doing the post patches. I understand now. <laughs> so we're going to Crystals, and Clive's gonna have, like... It's gonna be like, what are y'all doing with these? <laughs> Why are these here? Y'all should get rid of them. He's gonna destroy all of our Aetherites. We need to get rid of the Aetherites. We need to get rid of the... What's the... Ceruleum. <laughs> Even though that's not Aether. It's different. Ah! Uh, the Burning Wall, an apt name indeed. It is said that these crystal, crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalaman pierced the land's ethereal structure. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a, hoo -hoo, rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spy glasses at the ready. Survey your surroundings for anything out of the ordinary. You may move the camera as well as zoom out to target area and inspect it with... Okay, we're doing one of these quests. I One thing I hope for Dawn Trail is that, you know, I liked all the mini, little mini quests, like mini games and stuff, as we were going through Inwalker, but some, some of them got really, like, the... Uh, the follow quests in Inwalker were kind of a lot sometimes. Especially when they asked you to do that several times. I hope they have like, you know, they really have a variety of stuff so that you kind of get a good little bit of each. Oh. Um, but I like that they're playing around with things, but I just, I hope for variety. I, you know, yeah. Uh, post, uh, Kayo on Twitch says, post and Walker just uh, paused it for the Manderville. Gilded Aria is one of my favorite stages right right now, and that battle theme is a blast. Yeah, 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 it was a fun, it was a fun fight. Uh, Vega on YouTube says, I'm embarrassed how long it took me to find the target in this part. Yeah, these are always, these always take a while, don't they? Uh, survey the burning ground with an eye, anything you can place. Search for the unusual. Is it really obvious? Oh no. There's one in Shadowbringers, I remember, that took a long time. I 
love this music. Th something bad's happening music. Oh, that was... Oh, I've, now Kaya's saying it took them forever to find it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like I've looked everywhere. Right, well, I'm going to join y'all and take forever to find it as well. Scouring the lands. Anything out of place? That's not out of place. Oh, wait. I don't see anything out of place. <laughs> yeah, he does blend in. <laughs> Clive It's so odd he doesn't look like he belongs here. Where am I? What what's going on? I feel like I'm Sora in the in the parts of the Caribbean world. No, he doesn't look too odd. He looks a little odd, though, for being in the game. Uh, dream led you to me. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for you, R, I am content to, to be known as the minstrel. The stalwart here is Greek you missed, Warden. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive, I, the last thing I remember was the ruins. What? Wait. Oh, so this is this is after? <laughs> I didn't expect that. My head, where? How did I come to be in this place? Or maybe this was. It would seem you were knocked senseless. Confusion to, is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have. A prompt history physician. Look, oh, you have. I shall see the patient receive proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at the Scholar's Walk? Clive needs help. Clive is sick. I don't know where this was. There's plenty of times where he was like, I'm, I'm knocked out and I'm dizzy. I feel like that's every Final Fantasy protagonist. Always has a moment where they're like, ugh. That's like, like you can't be a Final Fantasy protagonist unless you have a moment where you grasp your head and go, ugh. <laughs> you have a headache. It just, you just, you just can't. I am avoiding 16. I played 16, I'm just avoiding. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> But that could, this could be many times in the game, is what I'm saying. Uh, our founding, our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully, it was not that bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. Koopa on YouTube says Clive can be our headache pal. Yep. Yeah. 
our main story headache pal. Because, yeah, we also do that, too. <laughs> We're like, oh, I'm seeing in the future. It was kind of you to wait. Or, no, we don't see into the future. We see, like, the past. That's right. What of your condition? Much improved. The physicer also noted no signs of injury or illness. Isn't this from 16? Yeah, this music is. Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of the city, Clive? Do any parts of Uldah strike you as familiar? No, maybe I'm simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm, not Uldan then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The burning wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Ulda and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the bells will is in order. Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I can have off. Yoshi P, you're wasting time. You're not a very good uh, detective. Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if you have heard any, if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous at Gridania Anon. I want a new glam. <laughs> uh, Finder, welcome in on t on Twitch. Ooh, Archon tattoo. Will fit in. The yeah, it does look like it has an Archon tattoo, basically. It does look that way. But I don't think Archons want that tattoo. I don't think they'd sign up for that one. Uh, da, 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 da. The entire situation has me knocked off balance. I'm afraid. Riku, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Clive! <laughs> Clive! Fish! <laughs> You can tell my past dream, my latest endeavors have been just ocean fishing. Look at the smile. Pain to recall. Oh no. Pain to recall. Ugh. <laughs> Not pain. Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania, the minstrel's mention, is it far? Will we need mounts? Mounts? By airship? You have them? <laughs> He's like, no, but you built those. You should never have built those. Not that I mean to doubt you, my friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. He's like, you shouldn't do that. They're meant for war. I really... It's... <laughs> It's funny having, like, the difference of, the, there's such a huge difference between this and the 15 quest, because, like, Clive coming here, it's like, like someone from the past coming to see, like, a futuristic town. <laughs> They're like, what's this? What's a telephone? And then, um, and then the 15 event, I don't really remember it too much, but I do, do you remember, like, them having a car, and it's like, but they have cars in this, too. There's cars in 14. Like, in, they're destroyed in Garlemald, but they're there. They do exist. Riku, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? <laughs> no, they don't. Of a foolish question indeed, then, your expression tells me as much. First time traveling by airship? Is there no airship travel where you're from? So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword, 
I understand what it is for and how to wield it. Froggy, foggy, <laughs> foggy as my memories may be, my knowledge uh, seems intact, my general knowledge. Yet hearing your, you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief for something that is clearly, uh, that you clearly think as of commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. La 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 la, Clive. It feels like a bracing wind. The deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. But this is Gridani. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Five will follow me. Clive! I am now your tour guide. Follow me, Clive. Uh, this tavern reminds me of somewhere I've been before. Oh. Ow. Cramp. <laughs> Ow. Uh, no, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. All right, Clive. I know, yeah. I shouldn't have put the backpack on. It's giving me cramps. A chocobo, now that's something I, rec I recognize. Yet it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But as for the when or where, An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. No, not really large enough. <laughs> uh, when I try to remember, the fog in the head, in my head, almost seems to grow thicker. My fog in the head. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Doctor, are you all right? Lieutenant Mistwarden, do you know this gentleman? I like that they, I wonder if they changed the, the title based on my uh, grand company status. Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to he hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gridania owes debt of gratitude to any who've stood against the destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder Seatseer is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead of this to Stillgate Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to the, uh, the to audience. Understand, Commander. Pray find me at the Nafika altar. I know where to go. Go to the white mage place. Oh, we're right here. The lotus stand lies just ahead. It would, if you'd follow me, please. Greetings, honored guests. Commander Hiloi has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. Pleasure to meet you. I am Connie Sinna. Elder Caesar of Gridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I'm Clive. Though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please concern yourself not with properties. Does your memory loss we are here to address? I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. I wish easily granted. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixil, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelveswood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Riku has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. A winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind, a fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No, the wind, the will behind the monstrous visage, visage is distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Erosia's Primal are not one and the same. <laughs> They're from different worlds. Kaio says, Ambrosia, yep. Mainly a Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive, a questioned folk, uh, and questioned folk in all nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaped the notice of every local rumor monger for a mom's around, improbable to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility, one consistent with past accounts. I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star.
my brand. It's it's the mark of the bearer. <gasps> no. Does it plain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, bearer, Ifrit. Another primal's name. It would seem the pain has less than tangible source. Long have I studied the, the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempt, attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. Yeah, that's true. The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. This whole quest is just about overcoming trauma. Fate has brought us together and together we shall triumph over this adversity. So you think me from another world? Uh, and my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. Tis a confounding dilemma. I agree and I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Riku. You are the twin of Clive's one. You are the twin of to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you've, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Apkalu Falls. Clive. <laughs> Clive. 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 Clive, Edie, Clive, Clive. <gasps> Gifts. The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. So I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet him at Apkalu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? I know the name, I forget where. Good, not far then. Let's go on with it. Let's go on with it. <laughs> uh, Caius says the backpack, backpack is so lovely. Yeah, it's part of this top piece. It's just part of the shirt. You can get it from Island Sanctuary, I believe. And then boots are from MSQ and the bottoms are... I forget where they're from. They might be from Eureka. I don't remember though. And the hat is the hat and glasses are from. They're one piece, but they're from Island Sanctuary. Oh, and then the, the gloves. These are Mox. This, this is a Mox Station item. This uh, strap and stuff. Uh, I've unlocked Island Sanctuary, but haven't started it yet. The glam is fantastic. Island, Island Sanctuary glam. Mwah. Uh, I need to work on it a little bit. Just at least uh, get my deliveries going and stuff. Just because I want the mounts, I want more glam. I like to get caught up on, you know, how that is in general. But I wanted to think that they're going to keep up with it, even though they're adding more stuff in Dontrell. Ooh, okay, we got a, a thing. Do I want to go? I want to go on Sage.
Uh, Vega says, look at him, Connie Cena, his character model uh, is way more detailed. Yeah, he doesn't belong. But soon, soon ours will be that detailed, I think, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Five, this place, why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Luis Swa gathered a band of adventurers in time for the seventh, seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit. Ooh, the music. Oh, the music's so good from 16. It's so iconic. I know something is there. I just, why can't I remember? I've recalled several words in the Elder Seed Seer's presence, words which brought him pain. While oh, the significance of bear eluded me, you and I are more familiar with Ifrit. Oh, it's so incredible. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that the primal or its equivalent in your world uh, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus, I have resolved to wear, to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louisois paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance? Oh, wow. I didn't know about this substance. And within the vision which takes form, Will you do battle with the phantom of our mind's creation? I didn't know that that was what that was. Imaginary though, this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. And that's so perfect because he makes, this is what he does. He makes imaginary encounters. Uh, yet you must preserve, you must persevere for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star and call upon the strength of your shining twin, your past awaits. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> uh, Cherry Motion, welcome in on Twitch. It seems like they're stopping at rank 20, but who knows? Uh, oh wait, for... Oh, for Island Sanctuary? That would be nice. I, that would be nice. That's, I don't want to have to... I don't know if... I don't, I don't want to have to keep up with that along with all the new stuff that they're doing. And the music does slap. I hope that's true, but maybe some people like it. I don't know. Feels like a lot to keep up with. Clive says, why am I saying Clive says? <laughs> where has he sent us? You stand in the Bowl of Embers, the site where the Amalja summoned their patron deity in the stage upon which the Warrior of Light became a slayer of gods. This but convincing illusion, the body of recounting tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. He ain't gonna be the one we're used to, though. Oh no, it is. An accurate vaccine. You not quite yet, not quite the effort you know. No, not quite the same. <laughs> His Ifrit is much scarier and much bigger. Oh God. That's amazing. Oh my God. The fact that they're able to just put this in this game. Look how amazing it looks. <laughs> so good. Huh. 
hung. It's time to uncover the truth in my cute outfit. All right, it's time to find out who I am. Ifrit. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on this trail. I've been on its trail seeking vengeance for my brother. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Riku. Yeah, spoiler warning, if you haven't played the demo of 16, it's really all... <laughs> if you ever played the demo of 16, yeah, but at least that's free. During the battle, you will gain access to special duty actions as follows. Oh, wow. Tutorial. Using rising flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. Uh, with the proper timing, you can use dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within the area of enemy's attack. Cool. Certain enemy attacks will be preceded by a countdown icon. Uh, when this countdown progress progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use the dodge action. Okay, so this is kind of like the easy mode of the of 16 where it has like the well well no they have like they have stuff like this too in the like the icon battles but but similar similar after executing a successful dodge the dodge action will change the to precision strike which provide which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage Soken deserves his award, his game award. Okay, so Rising Flames. Right, I have to do that, okay. So I dodged it, okay. <laughs> oh, whoops. There we go. Well done. Okay, I need to listen to Clive. Get out of the way. Oh, he dodged. I like how dodging is just moving. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still going to get hit by it. Okay, I did an attack. Hi yeah. I don't really have to dodge there, right? Okay.
dun 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 What are they doing? Infernal Shroud? Oh. Oh. Fetters? Oh! Live! What the hit? Riku, buy some time. Anything. Oh, my thanks. Oh, whoops. Oh, I just healed myself. <laughs> Some of it, it does feel a little bit like the early 16 combat. The dodge and then, uh. Yeah, that. That feels like. Sixteen combat was really fun. I really liked it. There's some abilities that made it a little too easy, but besides that, that was really great. Oh, 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 oh. Riku. Ooh. Still in the fight, I am.
Can't rely on steel alone. He's ulting. Wait, is it gonna be? Oh, oh, oh. He ulted. Just a few more Riku. We leave none standing. Did I miss him cursing? I've seen it. It was all over Twitter. <laughs> I kind of love that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm still with you, Clive. Oh, he healed, he used a potion. This is pretty fun. Dude, this part's fun. I want more of this. Another, I spare myself for guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what I little what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am. <gasps> Ooh, wait, are we gonna fight as him, or are they just gonna? Are we gonna do like a primal fight? In the battle against your own mind, would seem you have emerged the victor. Intriguing, intriguing. Oh. It's a magical Yoshi P. Oh, Torgo! <laughs> okay, now I can have Torgo. Bork. Let's go. Vominos. You can lead the way. What a nice dream. Yeah, I never knew that about that waterfall, that it was like. The illusion is unraveled, yet you brought a fiend back with you. A fiend. How rude.
This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more local ally. There's no. There's just no more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. <clears throat> ah, I would explain the aberration in the lingering aether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his ha harrowing past, and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I have done. My younger brother Joshua was, ki was the kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flames. He was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered. His bright future cut short. From the day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my, re my revenge spent years tracking the killer until one day I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I f first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me or that I would even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish that, ca that this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and guilt. I'll never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. All right, and then go play 16. <laughs> what you have to do. It was in search for answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found, yeah, that's why I thought this was, yeah. Uh, there I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm, your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your ined inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. That is cool. Yes, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that that you see your home. You that you see Oh my god. I'm thinking that to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our roads take us back to the burning wall. I love how that all kind of Oh, they did that so well. Once there your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. The phoenix is eternal and guides us where we need to go. Uh, Kaio says, I just wish they would have voiced Clive. That's, yeah, that's not likely in a, any kind of event. But it would be nice if everything was eventually voiced, but yeah, it's not really something they do for anything that's not main story. Unless it's like a battle. Like the, the raid battles and stuff it'd be nice if like the raids and alliance raids were fully voiced throughout that would that would be incredible but i just don't see that happening <clears throat> um
Yeah, yeah, I expected, I was hoping that the battle was cool, and it was cool. It just took a while to get into it, you know, to get into the vibe. Sal's good to see you. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope things are going well on, on Twitch. Hello, welcome in. Uh, Mike, welcome in on YouTube as well. Yeah, the music is beautiful. It's so beautiful. And Vega on YouTube says this fight was fun. It was fun. I liked it. Especially the ending part, part portions of it. Once it kind of got a little faster, it was more to my pace of, of a gamer. <laughs> uh, those three dots on Torgal's butt, so cute. I'll have to see once I get them out. We're gonna look at Torgal's butt. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, oh, wrong place. Our Torgal. We've come this far. Now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation after all. Bark. Follow Torgal! God, so great. Go away, scary bird, man. This is amazing. I love following Torgal. This is so simple. It's so great. Makes me want to pick up 16 again, but I've like done everything in that game. I think I have some... Like I did the hard, I did the hardest hunt. First try. So cool. But I, I just walked up to it and did it. It was that. Uh, well, it was both the. Uh, some of the. the I don't want to say their names, but they were they were hard. They were very hard hunts because <laughs> you had to do hunts in the game. I remember being like, "Ooh, this is gonna be really hard," and then I just killed it. Uh, so this is so everything in this is spoilers for the uh, kind of for the, the uh, kind of for the demo. It kind of goes a little further past the demo, but mostly the demo of sixteen. It's really like the first like spoilers for the first like one eighth of the game. <laughs> is this uh is this it, boy? The tale ends where it began. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a juncture between our two worlds, but now I think I understand. You do. Some years ago, Erosia was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. It even as fire and ruin threatened all that we dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. Twas as if the star was reborn. <laughs> One theory attributes the miracle to the be benevolent entity claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our uh, in our hour of direst need. The phoenix, the phoenix. The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the phoenix of the, your world, may have been connected which brought you to the sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. Hmm. 
I know Cloud is back at the Game Awards. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. <clears throat> and yours as well. You don't seem the type to stand still. Come, Torgo. We have answers to seek, and Velisthea awaits. Velisthea. Mm, cool. Pretty. Then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. No, don't sing. <clears throat> but nay, it would be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from a fleeting, uh, from so fleeting an excerpt. Good, no singing. <laughs> that honor belongs to someone else. Someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly. Power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by the day, this day's miracles. But you can buy Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Riku. Ishp is like, maybe you can buy Final Fantasy 16 and play it. It's funny. <laughs> This was such a good ad for the game. <laughs> Our little adventure is over, set in motion as it was by the dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgo proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. Yay, give me, give me the glam. I want the glam too. The glam on is it a mock station thing or not mock station uh bowl and saucer thing oh no oh we get everything okay thank goodness wow this is great rewards they didn't even have to do all of this oh oh you can also get it from the golden saucer too Oh, I think I need to like I don't think there's that. Yeah, there's no helmet. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm looking good. So this is the glam. And then we need Torgal. Oh, I hear. I hear Torgal. Oh my god, get rid of something off my favorites list. Get rid of... What do I want to get rid of? 
I like so many of these. Get rid of this. The lettuce cat can leave my presence. Yay! And then... Where is the puppy? Little Torgal, and then Big Torgal. How does he fly? He just, oh, he howls. Wait, there's a heart? Wait, wait, oh wait, we can pet. That's right, we can pet Torgal, right? Oh my God, the best mount ever. That is a, what an amazing idea. <laughs> uh, Sal on Twitch says, you, have, you haven't played 16. I plan to eventually, but Clive in the event is like a wet cat to me. I love, I love, you love wet cats. I, as a cat owner, I can't say that I like wet cats. They are usually very unhappy. I did, uh, Sal says, I did the event. It was fun. My cousin who played 16 said the event, if... It's fine if you haven't played it yet. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't spoil much. It just spoils like, yeah, I haven't done the demo. There's like a few details in there, but it's not like, it's not going to ruin the game for you. Um, Sal says, Yoshi P, self-insert, play 16. Right, he's just saying play 16. It's really the whole quest. Um, I did it, uh, Kayo, on Twitch. Yeah, it's a simple, fun quest. That's all it needs to be. These kind of little these little event quests don't need to be much um especially when there's a time limit on them they don't need to be a huge endeavor um, but it was a nice amount of stuff and content nice little battle you know there's there's a lot there uh sal says torgal is so small for the max height elizin i feel so bad for him <laughs> oh no torgal I'm sure that he gets bigger, right? Mike's on YouTube says best boy. So great. Uh, Vega on YouTube says, I don't know how I feel about the implications of Clive goes back, but we end up with the clothes and the dog. Oh wait, uh, goes back. Um, well, he goes back to the temple in a portion of 16. So he goes back to a port. There's a, Portion 16 where he blacks out and then this is where he comes to and it's very early in the game so he's going back there now and waking up so that's like where he was here and yeah you know it doesn't really change anything about 16 <clears throat> in the end uh sal says the feet drag on the floor for some max height aura oh wait, they do oh that's really funny <laughs> Vegas says, but he is naked now since we we got his... Oh, yeah, we did got, get his clothes. But we did glamour... We glamour... They are... We glamour prison them, so that this is an illusion. So we're, we basically have no clothes. This is just an, an illusion. Clive actually has his clothes. So we actually have no clothes. They're on a dinosaur. I'm gonna run with them. Where's the group, like the, the horde of people over here? In by the horde of people. Mm -hmm. 
Vega says, so we are naked, we are. That's kind of, that's the ending to everything. Uh, Sal on Twitch says, the feet drag on, oh wait, you just said that. Now I want to see that. Because I'm, I guess I'm Minhide min Bunny, and my feet don't drag. That's, uh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> they had to get the event out. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful dog. Doggo. <laughs> doggy, 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 doggy. How do y'all feel about the event? I thought it was really nice. I thought it was, you know, short and sweet. Uh, the fight was fun. It was, you know, it wasn't hard, but it was like, it doesn't need to be hard. It needed, I thought it was nice and active. It gave you a little bit of an idea. It took me a while to th feel like it was feeling like 16, but it started feeling like it with the those buttons, those active buttons, with the how the combat kind of feels. They always do a really good job about that, of like conveying it into an MMO format. Uh, Cause uh, they, did, they did that with 15 well, I thought. Uh, but this has been, um, this was really fun. And I liked how they, they connected it to the Phoenix and uh, uh, yeah, like how the Phoenix was like guiding the, the path to where we needed to go and it was all kind of like fate in a way and I thought that was really nice and how they kind of connected both worlds together. Sal, sa uh, Sal on Twitch says stole Clive's outfit and his dan and his dog. Damn, yeah, we were really bad. It's really bad. Vega on YouTube says, okay, I'm gonna walk my ar my IRL tour. Go Ooh, that sounds fun. Thanks for the stream. Yes, thank you so much. I need to go, I have IRL cats. And I need to go love, love on, because I kind of came home and sat down and, and live streamed. I thought it was, uh, Sal says, I thought it was fun, a fun event, even as someone who hasn't played six. That's great. Yeah. Then it did its job, because I think that's really what they're, they wanted it to be. I think that's probably their most, their most important for them is for people who haven't played 16 to enjoy it. This definitely was a much more uplifting. <laughs> Much more of it was a very uplifting quest compared to 16. Very dark a game. Um, I just finished seven rebirth, which is also amazing. Oh, my playthrough of that is on my YouTube. My play, my full playthrough of 16 is not on YouTube and that is my fault. But, um, we now have new, we have, we now have a new way or I now have a better, more healthy way of putting playthroughs on YouTube now that I can stream stuff. Uh, it's just was a lot to try to do all of that. But, but yeah, Kyle on Twitch says, I'm glad I did not have to exchange the gear and Torgo for MGP. Yeah, but what is that? Let's go check that out because they did say that there's some items for MGP. Can you just get them now? Or is there more items? I don't understand the purpose of that. If you already get the item. Or if they're putting it on, or maybe they're putting this, these items up for the golden saucer after the event, like they'll stay there. Orchestrian rolls. Oh, thank you, Sal. Yes, thank you. That is, you are correct. I was like, what am I missing? <laughs> Time to buy orchestrian rolls. Don't forget this, y'all. There are orchestrian rolls for sale. Uh, is this? Oh, these are from the. Oh, that's from that other event. The PVP event. Which orchestrians are there? It's the regular salesman. Is it these? I wish you could preview the sound, like the music. 
I mean, it's definitely, well, that's, you know, I know what this is. Is it just the 20,000? Idols of the Empire? I mean, that sounds like... Find the Flame? I mean, that sounds... I mean, we'll just get these anyways. <laughs> It seems like the 20, the ones that are 20,000 are the ones we need. Clive's card. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. A dance pole. That's where you get that. Oh, and you get the guitar here. Um, are any of these shuffle and, or boogie gateway to paradise? These are all 14 ones. Game theory. I don't know. I think that's the 8 bit sounding one. All of these now. And then we can get Clive's card. And that's at the triple triad trader, I'm assuming. Recently added items. There, I, I should just do that. 200,000? Oh my goodness. Wow, that's very expensive. I want the poo poo card, the baloney card, and the Ashkan card. I spent a lot of MGP there. So you do need like 400. Someone, th I remember seeing something about MGP. I was like, why do you need MGP? Uh, but now I know. So all recently added, I yeah, all of these. Okay, so I got all of these. Yay, okay, so there we go. That confirms it. I forgot that you could do that. That's so helpful, the recently added item thing. So wonderful. Okay, so we got Clive's card. We got everything we needed to get. Is there anyone else in the glam? I don't see anyone else. There they are. So this is what it looks like on a, a Rogadin. On Ephemera. Amazing. Iconic. <laughs> That's all I see. I'm surprised. I want to see like everyone. Well, let's go to Limsa Liminza. That's how we know. Are people glamming in Limsa Liminza in the new glam? Are they showing up in the new glam? Da da do 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 Okay, let's see. How many people are dressed as Clive? I don't I don't see that many people. Oh, here's one. Another Clive. They're doing the they're doing the back and forth look. Examine, are they gonna click? There's one Clive. I'm Clive number two. 
Oh, I see. I'm really surprised. I was expecting more claws. Hmm. Well, I'm now Clive, so we're just going to leave it at that. Sal on Twitch says, I use the, the Clive fit as my my RPR glam. Is, is it your RP glam or your... What's the RPR? A Reaper. <laughs> Reaper glam. Yeah, that would fit really well. That would fit quite well. But that was really fun. I really enjoyed that quest. And yeah, I can't wait. I wonder what's what's next. I know there's Moogle Tomes coming next. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to stream next. I might take a week. I might take a week. I might stream Friday or Saturday. I might stream Saturday morning. I might do a Saturday morning stream. We haven't done that in a while. And I'm off Saturday, so might as well take advantage of that and just do a Saturday morning quick little stream. I'll let you know what we'll be doing, but I don't know what yet we'll be doing. But that seems like uh a good a good enough plan for that to do that um let's go raid my good friend super cali he's on uh is he on yep he's on let's go raid him on twitch this is a twitch thing um i'm just gonna let that go off um while i do my my outro there we go so that's gonna do a thing. Oh, it's going now. But if uh, be sure to ready. To, uh, okay, it's doing it now. <laughs> I was so confused. Anyways, thank you for the stream. I'm gonna end now. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's been really really fun. Um, be sure to follow on my Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. Be sure to consider Patreon. Uh, for there's a bunch of other content over there. Some exclusive content that I do over there. Just really, it's not as high produced but it's just some fun little videos i make on the side that are like my opinions on like things i typically don't talk about like battle classes and stuff that i wouldn't make a video on my main channel and i do some behind behind the scenes stuff and bloopers um i do some postcards which i have sitting sitting over here um a bunch of stuff over there um, and also be sure to join the discord community that's how that's where i post my schedule very early so you know what's going on um where I do all my updates there on my Discord. It's just how you can keep in the know of what's going on. And there's a bunch of fun people over there. So there's that as well. Am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? Uh, yeah, I should be live on Saturday. Uh, and I'll update my schedule soon over there on Discord and on my other platforms. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.